Earning a living in Shan State can be difficult and dangerous. Mia Tu Ong has been working here for three years and has already seen several of his workmates die falling from the crumbly slopes. The six quarry workers here share six dollars per truckload of sand they dig out for construction sites around the city of Lashio. Some days there are no trucks and this year has been particularly slow as civil war has seen roads closed and border trading suspended. Farmers here mainly grow maize for export and if their business is good we have more work. But this year they can't sell their products so that means it's difficult for us because building work also slows down. Thousands of people have left their homes because of the fighting. Some are sheltering in monasteries and temples. I want the fighting to stop. It affects our business. It seems whenever business is starting to improve, the fighting starts again and everything is ruined. The war in northern Shan state is between government troops and a rebel group calling itself the Northern Alliance. It's a coalition of armed organizations that haven't been involved in talks with a government some experts say lacks expertise to carry out the peace process. Negotiating peace. Um, Ong Nayu was a negotiator under the previous government before he and his colleagues were dumped by the new government. Under the, the current government there is um, less dialogue and I think that's, that, that's uh, uh, one of the, the key issues, the lack of talking of reaching out to some of the people who are outside the, the, the peace agreement. The most important stakeholders are civilians who every day go into the fields where battles can break out at any time. They have no choice but to risk their lives to make a living. This is a very difficult time for people in the conflict areas. Not only are they constantly under threat from the actual fighting, but there are also allegations of abuse carried out by soldiers from all sides. People feel they have to choose who to support, and that creates a culture of fear and intimidation. It's also holding back the region and, to a certain extent, the whole country. Mia Tuong says hard labor is the only real option for young people looking for work. Like everyone, he wants a different life and more money. But ongoing war is limiting investment and opportunities for the people of Shan State. Wayne Hay, Al Jazeera, Lashio, Myanmar.